Joan, share your thing whenever you're ready. Um, so uh, you guys know how much I love this class, right? This is like one of my favorites. I think this is the first one when we separated out the who was going to teach what. This was the one that I taught. Um, I just, this topic to me is the easiest way to make the biggest noticeable impact, right? In your home and in your family's life with your animals. Every, everyone is impacted by this. Between the personal care products that we use, meaning our shampoos, our deodorants, you know, our toothpaste, whatever, as well as the cleaning products that we use in our home, we are just bombarding our bodies with sort of each one is at the maximum level of um, allowable toxicity, right? Well, when you add all of them up, you end up with this overwhelming amount. And then when you top that off by when we're out in the world, as we're getting out there today, oh, it's just everywhere. It's so hard. But I love this because we get to take a little bit of control, right? And it's the best part is, is it's cheaper, it's more effective, it's non-toxic, and I think it's fun. I don't, I'm, I know that Leslie's with it, me there. Are, like, I like making my things. And I also like that when I run out, it's not, I just walk over and make some more. Like, it's not like, well, I'm out of that. What do I do? So anyway, Joan is going to lead us today. Thank you, Miss Joan. We, uh, Miss Trixie has been doing this, this class for the past few rounds. Ah, but, um, awesome. So excited that Joan has um, volunteered to come and be a guest instructor, which I think is always the best because we kind of get a different take. Yeah. You know, it's fun. It's fresh, right? And yeah. fun. And I want to hear about what you're doing over there at your house because I bet you've got some great <laughs> recipes. Yeah, we're, we can have a little DIY here tonight. Ooh, everybody likes a DIY. Oh, everybody's piling in now. Here comes Miss Vicky. Yeah. Hi, Miss Diana. <laughs> uh, the tidal wave is happening. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and share my screen. If I can find now where the camera is. I don't have any audio on Joan. Are you guys getting audio for Joan? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. You Am I I lost Joan? Yeah, Joan's you're going back. in and out. Yeah. So maybe I'm sorry to do that to you, Joan. You asked if you wanted to call in and I'm I apologize. Yeah. No, you're good, but maybe. Okay. Um, we'll give you a second to do that and we'll kind of chat. So I've been excited. We've been cleaning at our house like mad people. The amount of dust that can accumulate in your home over eight months in New Mexico is terrifying. Okay. <laughs> it, like when you think about breathing that and just how much we're constantly managing dust, I am like, I am on a mission now to make the best dusting. Like I want it trapped. I don't want it up in the air. Does that make sense? You know what I mean when you're making? So um, I've got a couple recipes, but does anyone have a good dusting recipe that they've been doing to help? You know what I'm saying? Like you want to trap it down instead of, I usually, I okay, let me say this. I don't put oil in my dusting. I just make like my spray. Yeah, Diana, what do you do? Well, you just, you said you didn't put oil. I do the, no, I, mean, I like do the one oil. with the, yeah, I do. That's the one I do. I do that, uh, um, the one that the has the vinegar, one. yeah, the olive wood spray. oil, mm -hmm. yeah, and then the and then the citrus oils in it, and I love it. I feel like it does kind of pull up the stuff, the sticky stuff, yeah. but it also um, keeps it from reattaching again. That's a good idea. So I'm gonna because I've kind of like. I do that on my wood surfaces, but we're like at the point where every single item in my home has to be cleaned because it's covered in dust. Um, and so it's, you know what I mean? Like a knickknack on the shelf has, and, and you can't just dust it off because then it's all in the house everywhere. You know what I mean? And you're like, ah, so oh, it's been- It just goes flying because it's dry, yeah. Yeah. And you know what I do like though? I'm, I'm now a big, big fan of, oh golly, the humidifier diffuser um, for that reason, because it helps to bring, it really does bring the dust down um, and kind of keeps things from just flying all over the house and keeping it, you know, um, under control. So it just surprised me. I, I never, I mean, you know, you know, in New Mexico, it's dusty here. We all know, you know, <laughs> But man, is there a lot of dust um, with doors and stuff closed. You know, it just is. And it has been a battle. And by the way, 
I'm allergic to dust. So <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where I can only do it so long. Um, and I'll have to. So, um, I'm, I'm, give me a minute. I'm sorry. I'm, I've got IT on my work computer has just taken over my work computer. So I'm trying to get him out of it so I can come back to you. Not a problem. We'll all just share our recipes well, and that way everybody can take notes on that. Um, but yeah, it happens, right? So iPhone, is that you, um, Joan? Yeah. Or is that Allah? Okay. I didn't know because sometimes Allah is just um, phone, but I can't remember. Is it an iPhone that she has? I can never remember. Anyway, so yeah, it's just interesting how um, these battles start with dust and such in the house and how it can trigger like allergens and trigger everything for you. Um, but I don't know, what else do you got? Anybody have a good um, tip or recipe? Actually, Romelia just shared the best story. I don't, Romelia, I know you're driving, but would you, could, would you mind sharing that story with us? Sure. So my sister's been staying with us and um, she's very sensitive. She has a lot of sensitivities, a lot of allergies. Thank you. We had to turn down the AC, man. We're blasting in here. Um, yeah. And uh, everything, everything, you know, she breaks out in a rash just for touching or brushing up against something that she's allergic to. And um, she said, she came out of the shower and, and said, you know, I usually come out of the shower and I have a rash. I, my skin's just red and it's itchy. I haven't had that since since I've been here. And, and you know, I just had to relate to her that, well, think about what you're cleaning your bathroom with. You know, all of those chemicals that you're using to clean your shower, to clean your floor, your sink, your everything, all of that residue is staying on your walls and on your floors. And when you turn up the, you know, turn on the shower and you've got your hot water flowing, you're steaming up your bathroom. It's capturing all of that residue that's hanging out and putting it into the air. Like, and if it's in the air, where do you think it's going to go? It has to come down and it's fallen on you. You know, so yeah. she just was not even aware um, that that was happening. And I, that's, that's the one thing that I, I really feel that was going on because she does use a lot of chemicals to clean because she's allergic to everything right? And she, and she wants to make sure that everything is clean so that she doesn't have any, any breakouts. But since she's been with us, she hasn't had any allergic reactions to anything. Oh. And we, we use, we've been cleaning with these, with, with vinegar and baking soda for years, for years. Mm -hmm and had to cut out the bleach even before then because of Seth and his asthma. Um, that was a big trigger for him. But you know, it's just those small little changes that have you know, just that huge impact for her that she actually recognized it. Like what, there's something different. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have a rash coming out of the shower, you know? So yeah, yeah. that was my story and that, and it's nice. It's nice to see that. So hopefully that it's something that she'll remember and she thankfully she it, she does use our products to clean you know Good. um our our all-purpose spray anyway that's the one that's out and about and used on everything all the time including yeah. the dogs yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Well, you, that's such a good point because it's so common that when people have um triggers of allergens or just you know they're concerned about this health problem or that the, oftentimes it turns out a lot of the things that they're turning to as a solution or as a way to work around it can become the problem and you just don't see the connection between the two all of that stuff in the air just makes you hypersensitive to everything and it's just, it's just interesting. It's, but it's, it's kind of a cool situation that she was staying with you. So she actually got to be like removed from her environment and plucked into a toxin-free environment and has seen the change, you know? So that's right. That's and, awesome. and, and my crunchy hippie life. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. And, and by the way, your showers are probably really lovely and clean, aren't they? <laughs> Without all that bleach and crap in there. So, you know, it's just funny how that is. How we doing, Joan? Did we, you look like you're. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, when you reach out to IT in the morning and then he's like, hi, just getting to you. And they never give you a heads up. So it's just all of a sudden, suddenly your computer is being controlled by I'm like, oh, pardon me, <laughs> Gio, you need to leave now. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We had that once at a robotics tournament where the computer all of a sudden tried to update in the middle of a of our actual tournament and threw the whole robot into hell. And it was just like, what are the odds that all of a sudden an automatic update was lesson learned? We always turned off the automatic update prior to competition. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Right. And I thought so about like telling him, I'm like, look, if you can't get to me before 430, don't do it. But anyway of course well thank you for doing all that juggling and with that we will let you help us help us joan help us figure out some better solutions absolutely so let's uh let's dive in thank you all for just plunging in and uh sharing stories and tips and ideas and as carrie said this is probably to me one of the most exciting of the classes one of the most sort of eye-opening of the continuing ed classes that we have. Um, it's just mind boggling when you start to look at it and when you start to let your mind think about all the different ways that toxins and toxic substances are surrounding us in our daily life that we don't even think about. So this is a great way to dive in and learn how you can start to change it. And, I'll be the first one to say, you don't have to go wholesale everything, right? You don't have to like sweep everything out from all of your cleaning cabinets and make all new. If you can, fantastic, but don't feel intimidated, right? Don't feel like you have to do that. Just know that as you start, you'll start doing more and more and more and, and it will come. And as we go through also, by all means, unmute and ask questions if you have any questions at all, or put things in the chat and, and hopefully Carrie or somebody can pop in and tell me if there's something happening in the chat. But I'm also perfectly okay with just taking yourself off mute and, and hollering, talking, chatting. It's, you know, it's conversational. So here's the thing really about making the switch, right? With anything that we use, it has to be effective. It has to be, it has to actually clean, right? It has to actually work or else you're not gonna use it. It has to be really easy and really easy to make. This is key and it's key for me. I have a crazy busy schedule. I don't have time. I don't have time. If it's some big, protracted kind of DIY that's gonna take a day or, you know, and all kinds of stuff that I don't have, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna pop down to the store and buy something that says it's non-toxic, but I know it probably really isn't in all likelihood, but I just, I don't have time. So it has to be super simple. And we're gonna do a couple, we'll see about time, at least one quick little DIY of something that I need to make today anyway. So I am prepped behind me for a little bit of, to show you just how simple it is. You have to use it consistently, right? You have to develop that habit and it can take time to change your habits right it and i understand that so that's also why i say don't feel like you have to change everything right away it can feel a little overwhelming pick one or two things that are the most important to you as we go through and talk about things and talk about the different ways that toxins affect us in our lives. There's one thing on here that I'm gonna tell you is an absolute must, you have to do it right away. But other things are like, just do them as you can and think about what's most important to you and your family and your home and your situation. And having the materials at hand, is huge. As Carrie said, you don't have to go and get anything. When you have stuff available to you, if you run out of something, it's super quick. You've got everything there. You can just put it together quickly. So it's all available to you to do. And you can be as fancy or as non-fancy as you want. You're going to see me. I'm not fancy. These are fancy, right? These are fancy labels. They're nice. It's pretty. I'm more concerned about what's inside and I'm the only person in my household with an opposable thumb. So I don't have to worry too much about labeling, right? Cause nobody's gonna use the wrong thing for something. 
there's two main areas that we want to talk about. Obviously, household cleaners and products. So anything you use to clean your home, to put aromas and scents into your home, to clean the air, to do all of your cleaning. So we're going to talk about all of those things. And then also uh, personal care products. Right. So that's sort of in terms of all the things that you use on yourself, skin care, shampoo, body wash, deodorant, oral health, all of those things. So we're, we're going to look at both of those areas as we go through. Household cleaners. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of these things. You can take a look at them and go through uh, there. These things that have been sort of in our world and in what we've always thought of as cleaners and provided the kind of sense that we have culturally grown up with learning to uh, identify with actually being clean, right? The sense of chlorine and, and bleach and the just over the top, right? Uh, full disclosure, I was a big pine saw girl, right? I love that pine saw, right? That stuff, you knew, you got that aroma going in your house and you're like, yeah, that's clean. That means it's clean. And I think about that now and think, what was I breathing in with all of that? Holy schmoly, right? To just all those things. So the chlorine, it comes in your automatic dishwashing detergents, that's a really, really big one. Uh, mildew removers, toilet bowl cleaners, all the stuff that you're gonna use in your kitchen and your bath. And think about what Amelia was talking about earlier, right? When you say you clean your bath with all these chlorine laden, bleach laden cleaners, and then you step into your shower and you draw the curtain or you close the door and you get that hot water going and it just starts hitting you. It's coming out, it's gonna be on you, on your skin. You're going to inhale it and it's gonna go with that warm steam right into your lungs. It's really, really horrible for you. So that's a place, seriously, the bathroom is probably a place to really start thinking about making the switch. If you want to start making the, the switch, that's going to be really impactful, that area. Those triclosans, antibacterial, you know, I was never one to use, um, you know, hand sanitizers and antibacterial soaps and all that. The last year and a half, I've started using hand sanitizers. I use the On Guard hand sanitizer. I do my best to avoid using those hand sanitizers out in the world filled with all kinds of stuff because I am really a believer in this, you know, antibiotic resistant bacteria is a huge problem. Anyone who's dealt with MRSA or any of those things in the hospitals that they can no longer treat that's scary, right? It's really scary. Hormone disruptor. Well, that's a huge one. And a lot of these things are hormone disruptors. And that's something that's not so obvious, right? It's not a hormone disruptor doesn't give you a rash or hives. It's not something that you see, but that's a really insidious sort of thing. Your hormones, you know, come to the hormone class. If you're, if you're not sure or wanna learn more about how much our bodies are controlled by all of our hormones, right? It's not just about reproductive health, it's all of our bodily systems are controlled by hormones. And if you start bringing in and having your household and in your life, a lot of hormone disruptors, that can just lead to long-term issues that you just don't know about. Phthalates, yeesh, right? Take a look at that. I, I, that's terrifying, that list, right? Look at all that stuff that it, it affects. When you think about things that you hear sort of increasing rates of, all the time and you think about what we're using in our homes and putting on our skin 
and using in our laundry. That's another big one to think about, right? Your skin is really a huge organ. We sort of forget that the skin is technically an organ and it covers you and it brings everything in. So everything, all your clothes are just there, right there in contact with your skin all day, every day. And what you're washing your clothes in is then having contact with your skin all day, every day. So think about that. And so many products we'll see. And, and if someone can throw in the chat, because I forgot to pull it up, it's been a little bit crazy. There's that um, website where you can go and actually see all the things that are in products and even the products that are labeled as clean. I remember one time recently, Carrie posted something about what's really all in the Mrs. Myers products. And I thought, well, I thought they were good. I thought that was doing a good thing and using those, right? Marketing, ding, 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 marketing, telling us what we want to hear, right? So really look, really look at what's in there. Laundry is a huge thing. So again, laundry and, laundry and bathroom are two areas to really start looking at making some changes. Dishwashing detergent. You know, I didn't really think about this. I don't, I don't currently have a dishwasher, but I remember the first time I took this class and they're talking about the dishwasher detergent. That stuff is laden with bleach, chlorine. And when you open that door and that steam comes out and you get that hit of, oh, that smells really clean. All you're doing is just inhaling all of those chemicals directly into your lungs. Oh, that's huge, huge. How many times have you just gone and opened the dishwasher and the steam hits you right in the face, right? And you just breathe it all in. The kids are doing that, right? So go empty the dishwasher. They open it up, they stick their face in it. Oh my gosh, don't let them do that. If you don't switch over to a, to a non-toxic dishwasher detergent, at least like, you know, open the door and let it diffuse a little bit. Don't stick your face in it, at least do that. But we, there's a really cool recipe that we have on the website for a super easy to make home dishwasher detergent. The cleaning concentrate, you should just have this order it, put it on your next order. This stuff is incredibly economical. I don't know what it works out to in like cost per bottle that you make of other things, but look at this. One of these bottles of the concentrate, the On Guard concentrate can make you up to 18, 16 ounce cleaner bottles. And it's going to cost you maybe a tiny bit more than what you would pay for some highly marketed, supposedly fancy clean product. This is so economical. You have to have this on hand. Order it. It lasts a really long time because you don't need a whole lot of it, right? You can make your cleaners and then those cleaners last a long time. So by all means, get the, get the on guard concentrate. You can put it in so many things. It's currently in my all-purpose cleaner. Um, it's I'd use the laundry detergent, window cleaner, all of those things, the, the toilet scrub. It's just fantastic. And you know it's really good. You can know you can use it with confidence. We all want to kill unwanted microbes, right? But we want to do it in a healthier way. You don't wanna be hosing down all the surfaces that you and your family, kids, pets, guests, whoever are touching. You don't wanna be hosing those surfaces down with material that's laden with these toxins and hormone disruptors and all of that stuff because then you're picking it up in your skin. You may think, well, I spray it on and I wipe it down and I wipe it off. But that's not really, you know, it doesn't really get it all off and it's still in the air, it's still lingering. So as much as possible, 
use. There are so many great products, right? On Guard is just top of the line for this. Just for all your basic household cleaning, use the On Guard. The On Guard hand soap, foaming hand soap is fantastic. That's what's sitting on my kitchen sink. The hand sanitizer, just buy. Buy those, have one in your bag, have it in your car, have it in your shopping bag. So you take it to the grocery, use it everywhere. It's really effective, but it's not gonna have the same, um, you know, the, the stuff you don't want of like really, really drying out your skin and adding toxins to your skin. And then there are a number of oils that are known for their antimicrobial properties that you can use and add to your cleaners. Oregano is huge for this, really wonderful. Melissa, we've talked about Melissa as being such a heavy hitter in terms of microbial health, right? And, and keeping unwanted microbes away. And of course, Melissa is uh, on special this month. Yeah, it's a, if you haven't had Melissa, that price tag can be kind of shocking, but it's really an amazing oil to have. A lot of us use it in many different ways. Um, and it has other benefits aside from this benefit of really preventing the uh, microbes from attaching and from the bad things from attaching into your cells. So it's a great one to use internally right, as well to help take care of unwanted microbes. But all of these are great to have on hand. Certainly, if you're just starting out, get that oregano, get the melaleuca or tea tree, as it's called now, right, thyme, have those, right? They're, they're easy to have in your toolkit and really helpful for so many different things. Oh, the laundry detergent. So again, right, we have the really pretty bottles. Someone knows where to get this, a fancy. I think they're on Etsy, someone said. But you can make your own laundry detergent. Full disclosure, I haven't made my own simply because I haven't gotten a bottle that's sort of big enough to handle the volume that the recipe calls for. One of these days, plus I also have a really tiny, tiny, I have a, you know, my laundry is in the hall closet, right? It's one of those laundries where you open the doors and it's in the middle of the hall and so forth. So there's not a whole lot of storage area in there. So you can totally make your own. And I know a number of people who are on this call make their own. We use the Dr. Bronner's, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Actually, I'll just pull it around because I have it sitting here for our little DIY. So this is always, when we talk about Dr. Bronner's, this is the one that you want. Look for this baby blue label and it says baby unscented. That's the one that you want always. And you can, I buy it at the Montanita Co-op. You can sometimes find it at Sprouts, the other sort of natural food stores. You can order it directly online from Dr. Bronner's, staying away from that giant A named company that I prefer not to deal with. But you can get it directly from them or you can pick it up, but have it on hand again, just have it. And then you have all these things together. White vinegar, most of us have some white vinegar in the house. So you're gonna have that water and then look that on guard cleaner concentrate, super easy. And then you can choose what other oils you want to add. You could add some more on guard. If you want that lavender scent, if lavender is something that you really love, make up a lavender laundry detergent. You could make up different ones for different uses, right? I like to use, I'll add purify to the wash when I'm doing sheets and towels. Right, I like that. I'll add lavender sometimes if I'm doing sort of softer things and, and I want that. So you have that ability, right? You're not locked in and you can make just sort of a plain recipe in your big bottle. And then for each load, you can add an oil or two. And one of the things that I do, right? You can order the little five mil bottles, plain five mil bottles from doTERRA or from other oil supply places where you can then separate out. So say you buy a bottle of Purify, so you have the 15 mil that you got from doTERRA 
have another five mil that you load from that that you keep in the laundry room. So it's just right there, it's handy to use. Again, that comes back to, we wanna make it accessible, right? Because if it's not there and you're there and you got the laundry about to go, are you gonna walk back to wherever you have your oils to grab it and come back and put it in? Probably not, right? So have it there. So get some little five mils and put those in your laundry area of the, of the oils that you like to add. There is an on-guard laundry detergent that doTERRA makes that you can buy. That's what I have. It's just at this point in my life, that's easier for me. So that's what I have and that's what I use. And then I have my little bottles of oil in there to just add whatever extra oils that I want. But laundry, that's a huge one. Think about it. Think about changing up laundry. And it's easy, especially if you just buy the pre-made detergent and then later get into the DIY, right? Some people are just not DIYers. I'm getting there slowly. Who doesn't want these guys in the laundry, right? I personally have a sloth, thanks to someone who's on this call who delivered a sloth to me one day. So get wool dryer balls. These ones are super cute, right? And you can get all kinds of super cute ones. You can also get just plain natural colored ones. It doesn't matter. Get some dryer balls. No more sheets, dryer sheets of you know softener. Yeah, who knows what is on those things, right? Who knows? It's gross. You know, because those, when you use those sheets, that also you have to be even more careful with your lint filter because it will deposit things on your lint filter. So think about that. If it's depositing it on your lint filter, then it's depositing it on your clothes and then it's on your skin and then it's in your system. So that's what we don't want. We don't want that. So the wool dryer balls, you just put a few drops of oil on it. You can use it plain. You can just toss it in and it will eliminate static and keep things moving in your dryer. The first time you do it, it's a little noisy. So just be aware of that. That was the first time I did it. And I thought, what is that noise? <laughs> and then I realized it was the dryer ball whipping around in my dryer. But I, again, have those little bottles in your, in your laundry room and drop the oils right onto your wool dryer ball, toss it in. And then you can use them other areas, right? In shoes, I think somebody, maybe Trixie was talking about, you put, you know, if maybe you got sneakers or kids sneakers from sports, put a couple drops of Purify on a couple of these little sweet balls and stick them in those sneakers, things like that. So you can use it for more, but again, wherever you can eliminate something that's laden with toxins and substitute something. And this is super easy. This is so easy to substitute this. It lasts forever. It's fun, right? You take your laundry out. If you've got the little farmyard animals or whatever, sometimes they come bouncing out or like they're stuck in your sleeve or something. And like, oh, there's the sloth. Okay. You can put them in your fridge. I haven't done that yet. I need to get more. They can be draw, you know, drawer fresheners, anything like that. Again, if you think about it, right? So years ago, and probably my grandmother had this stuff. And then, you know, and so you thought, well, this is the thing to do, right? Who remembers those rolls of drawer liner paper that was impregnated with some kind of faux lavender or rose, right? but you put that in there, put it in there and then you have your clothes in there and then it's just absorbing all that stuff. I think about it now and it's just stunning, right? But I didn't know better when I was using it. Now I know better. So now I don't do it, right? Dishwashing detergent. So this recipe, if I'm not mistaken, is on the website, ravensnestessentials.com. There's a whole section in there with all kinds of fabulous recipes where you'll get actually, you know, the actual uh, proportions for this. You can make it in some mold, a cute little mold. I know Leslie, when she does her, um, you've got your oils now, what? class, she'll show you some of the molds that she makes things with, but you don't have to. And for some people, I know they found that 
they'll make them in a cute mold and then whatever that mold shape is doesn't actually fit in the dispenser thing of their dishwasher. So you can also just make this and not mold it and just have it in a jar and use a scoop. And I remember, and I probably have a note on it somewhere or someone can remind us this evening. I think, I wanna say someone said there's a hack around doing the laundry where you take this, one of these, one of these scoops and mix it like with a little bit of water or something and put it in your um, washing machine for laundry. So if somebody, if there's somebody on here who remembers that, I'll have to go back through my notes. But I think someone said that because I personally, I have, there's a, you know, when I bought my house five years ago, there's an old and gross dishwasher here. I've never used it. Uh, you know, it's just me. I don't mind washing by hand. Um, so that's what I do. So I've never actually made the dishwashing detergent, but I know, I know many of us, many of us in our Raven's Nest collaborative community uh, use this. You make this, use it in your dishwasher, and you're not going to end up with all of that just sort of chlorine gas and vapor coming out every time you open the dishwasher. It's like, I think it's been said that that, that vapor that comes out of your dishwasher when you're using commercial grade cleaners is probably the most toxic thing in your home. So this is one to start with early, right? If you do have a dishwasher, if you use a dishwasher, absolutely do that by all means. And then because, how are we on time? I think we can do this. Do we want to DIY? All right. So I'm going to stop sharing for a moment and take this down. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is, right? I needed to make today some liquid dishwasher, dish soap, right? Because I don't have a dishwasher, like I said, so I don't make the other stuff. I make a liquid dish soap. And here's how easy it is. I'm going to move it out of the way here, move my chair. So <clears throat> I've got my Dr. Bronner's and I've got just my glass cup measure. So I'm gonna measure out one cup of Dr. Bronner's. I'm so impressed you measure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. And this is actually gonna pretty much use up my Dr. Bronner's. Which is, it's on my shopping list, right? So I have that and I have my... I have my lovely uh, glass container. So remember when you're making all of your things. Can we, hold on. There's a, yeah, hold on. Let me figure out where that's coming from. Um, I don't know. I think we're merely, it's, oh, hold on. I did you. <laughs> Unmute, um, there it was yeah. Romelia. I'm fixing it. There we go. Romelia, you're not muted, love. And for some reason, it's not letting me mute you. There we go. Okay, now, Joan, I apologize. I muted you by mistake. So please unmute. I saw the, the microphone going and I was yep. like, oh, there it is. Okay, and there we go. The wrong one. Thank so, you. glass. When you make your, your cleaners and when you're making anything with your, um, with your oils, you really want to use glass always. So this is just a simple pump, right? So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to interrupt you real quick. If you can't see Joan, it would be because you are on speaker view and she's using her phone for her voice. So switch to gallery view and you'll be able to see Joan as she's speaking. Just a heads up for anybody else who was having that problem, but go ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Technology, right? That's why the IT guy was coming into my computer earlier to try and fix the sound problem that I'm having with Zoom. So, all right, so we just take out our little See if I can do this without making a mess. I'm known for making messes. So I'm just pouring my soap into my container. Yeah, I measure, I don't know. I tend to follow recipes roughly, right? I'll play with it a little bit. But now here comes the fun part. So now I have my glass 
and I've got my Dr. Bronner's in there. And this is how simple it is. Now you get to play with whatever oils you want in there. So the, the ratio I'm using, this is one I like right now, is I've got about 15 drops of lemon that are going in there and I'll roughly count. That lemon is so good for dishes because it cuts through anything. It's so good. It's really good for grease removal, cleaning up. And then you can play around, right? I know at the holidays, some people will use like Holiday Joy in there. You could use On Guard. This is a blend I've been liking recently. So I had lemon was the main one. Now I'm gonna put in about five or six drops of rosemary. Ooh. And, cause it tends to get a little bit too strong, a few drops of lavender. So mine is lemon, rosemary, and lavender. It's like a English garden. It's just lovely, <laughs> right? It's just lovely. And that is how simple it is. There you go. <laughs> That's all you do. That's how simple, right? Shake it up a little bit, get the oils mixed in with the soap, and then this will just go right back onto my kitchen sink, and I'm good to go. It so saves so much money. It's it saves so much money, and it really is that simple. And that's why I just wanted to do it with you as a quick DIY, because that's one of the easiest ones you can do. Cleaning sprays, same way, incredibly simple to do. It only takes you a few minutes to put it together. And then like Carrie had said earlier, if you run out, well, okay. I was washing dishes earlier today and it was getting really low. I was like running out and like hitting the pump and it's coming out and I'm like, well, I need to make some. And I'm like, oh, I'll wait until during the session today. So I can just make it here for you and show you how easy that is, right? So let's go back. I love that. Yeah, right? That's just how easy it is. That's how simple it is. That's how accessible it is. I know there are people here who, um, have the smaller humans in their household uh, have those tasks of putting these things together, right? And because it's really easy. It's nice with the small humans too, is that you can let your kids, even at age like, you know, four, help with cleaning because it's okay. I mean, you could technically just drink any of this and you'll be fine. You don't want to because it might taste funny, but it's completely non-harmful. So if they're spraying right. windows or they're helping to make it, it, for them, it's fun. And it's not, you don't have to worry about, oh no, don't go, you know, locking up your right. supplies and your cupboards and stuff. Plus for your pets, it's a game changer for their little paws and everything. I mean, it it's the whole family benefits. It's so cool. Really does, really does. I have hard floors at my house and I have just a Again, it's the recipe I think that we have on the website of just the all-purpose spray cleaner. And I just, I spray in front of my steam mop when I, when I steam my floors, right? And then I know my floors are clean and there's nothing that my animals are going to get on their paws. There's nothing I'm going to take up through the bottoms of my feet, right? If you walk around your house barefoot, right? How often do we talk about the bottoms of the feet as a place to really use oils and have them taken up really immediately. So if you walk around your house barefoot and you're using all kinds of toxic cleaners on your floors and your carpets, you're taking that in right up through the soles of your feet. Personal care products, similar, so many things. And, and sometimes in some ways, this is almost easier to make the switch with a lot of the personal care products because doTERRA has amazing lines that are right there for you, all pre-made. There are some really fun DIY things too, but it's really easy to make this switch. Obviously for your oral health, the whole oral health care line from doTERRA, I'm a big fan of that. Deodorant, this is the one I'm going to tell you, especially ladies, if you are putting aluminum on the lymph nodes next to your breasts, stop, just stop use a deodorant that does not have aluminum. We don't think about it very often, but once you start to get into that sense of thinking about all the ways 
things are taken into your body and you think about your lymph nodes here, right? If you know, we were talking earlier about some things and I certainly know a lot of people, the breast cancer, if they're gonna take your breast, you know, they're taking all these lymph nodes here too. And there's a reason for that. It's all connected. So be very aware of what you're sticking in your armpits. So use, use the deodorant from doTERRA. We have a great recipe. Susan on our team has a great recipe for a spray deodorant that she loves. So use one of those by all means. Skincare, of course, right? Because I mean, it's so obvious. You're putting it on and you're expecting it to absorb in. So think about what is absorbing in, really pay attention to that and know that there's almost no regulation on these products at all. It's really scary what can be in products. I saw something recently and I can't remember where I saw it, it might've been on the news hour. Um, uh, someone had done some study on skin lightening products, right? Especially those marketed in South Asia and things. And just the tremendous, horrible effects of that stuff. And um, yeah, there's virtually no regulation of it. And, and even, you know, things that even if we do regulate, they can be sold elsewhere. It's just better to pay attention, really pay attention and know what you're getting and know what you're putting on your skin. And that's critical for all ages, right? Infants on up. It's just, you have to think about it from the beginning. I didn't change up this slide, but the oral health care, the, the toothpaste has been reformulated and has a new look. It's an all white um, tube now, and it's really lovely. It has a remineralizing aspect to it. I definitely use the toothpaste and the mouthwash. I'm going to tell you, for me, the mouthwash, both of them, but the mouthwash especially, I'm super sensitive in my mouth to the cinnamon and so forth that's in there. I know some people are not, but here's what I do, right? Because I still love it and I want to use it and I want to use this product. So I saved my last bottle. And when I ordered new, I now make two bottles out of one. So it lasts even longer, right? I get it. I pour half into the empty bottle and then I fill them both up with distilled water. I've cut it so it's no longer irritating the inside of my lips. So that's a trick for some people. Just be aware. Sometimes cinnamon can be, it's, you know, it's a hot oil. And so sometimes that cinnamon, the clove can be a little much. The peppermint beadlets are fantastic to have on hand. Just pop them in. I took them with me to a workout class in the park last night. I was glad I had them. I had my breathe touch as well, but I had my peppermint beadlets with me. And then you can add, right? Don't be limited. They've got cinnamon bark here in this picture and cinnamon oil, and they talk about clove oil. And you can put those just a drop on top of your toothpaste. And I know some people who really like that huge pop of cinnamon or clove. And that's great, right? Doesn't work for me. Um, I use there, but there are others besides this. I use myrrh in the evening. When I'm brushing my teeth in the evening, myrrh is very, very supportive of oral health. So I use that in the evening. And then in the morning, I might use a citrus. If you got that white grapefruit that was the product of the month a while back, that is fantastic. One drop of that on top of your toothpaste. Um, you can use lime that way, lemon, wild orange, the clementine maybe if you just got that. Use those oils, put an extra drop on, play with it and see what you like, but your mouth will just feel clean and just clean if you, if you get what I'm saying, right? It's like you're not left with stuff and you're not left with a sugary sense that a lot of toothpaste, I mean, let's just not talk about like the toothpaste that you see at the store that have like glitter and stuff that they use to get kids to brush their teeth. I'm like, oh, what is that? What is that that you're putting in your mouth and then really taking into your body? I don't want it. 
it's really this is these are lovely products your teeth and your mouth will be clean and healthy without a whole lot of added extra yunk the deodorant that we talked about there are several options of deodorants from doTERRA you can't the entire collection is sold out you can't get the whole kit right now but the citrus bloom deodorant is available the balanced deodorant is really lovely as well use one of these i think it's the uh this one the gentle one is the one that is non-baking soda so if you have an issue with that by all means, try that one. And personally, Douglas Fir and Greek Orange, that sounds really nice to me. It sounds like a really beautiful combination. But also know that none of these are overwhelming in the scent at all. It's really, really light. You almost don't even notice it. It's not like some where you just open one of those deodorants and it just hits you that too much scent. None of these are like that. They're really soft, really gentle, and appropriate for anybody, really. So go for that. Make that change happen. Hair care. The packaging is being redone on these. It actually it looks nice. But yes, I use the shampoo and the conditioner. Love them both. With that shampoo, you can add other things to it if you want to add some things. I know Susan on our team, well, she gets the big bottle of the shampoo and she puts a whole bottle of rosemary in there to help with hair health, scalp health. So you can do that. But even just on its own, the shampoo and conditioner, I'm loving them. I haven't gotten them yet, but I am gonna get this, the root to tip serum and the glaze for hold. These are wonderful products and you know that they are just formulated in a way that is not going to introduce anything toxic to your scalp. That, and, you know, that glaze. Oh my God, Joan, I can't believe you haven't tried it. Oh my God. I know. I know. I need to get it. I've it, got to get the glaze. It's so light, but it Go does ahead. such a good job. Um, if you have fine hair at all, but honestly, I know it works for people who have really thick hair too. It's just, it's wild, but oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Even my husband <laughs> uses it. He switched over from his LA looks or what was that? LA looks or whatever, his horrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? He said it was itching, but he had to switch over and he, he's down with the glaze. So, <laughs> well, I'm going to try it. It's, it's on my, it's on my wish list. And then just a quick tip, right, as it's getting to be summer and we are getting back out into the world, the conditioner is a fantastic shaving cream. If you choose to shave, it's a really nice shaving cream. It's what I'm using now. It's great. You only need a tiny bit. So, and both of, again, they last for a really long time. All of these products, so wonderful. Skincare. So what you're actually putting on your face is so important. I'm not going to go into depth on this. If you want to know, you simply, simply must come to Diana's skincare essentials classes. I come all the time and I learn something new all the time. But there are several lines that doTERRA has that are formulated in different ways. Really terrific. HD Clear is a formula for more acne prone skin. A lot of teenagers like it, that sort of thing. And then the Virage and the Skin Essentials. I use a number of products from the Skin Essentials line and I really like them. You can mix and match. Don't feel that you have to stay with a certain line, right? Like maybe you like the toner from one and the wash from something else and moisturizer from something else. They all can work together. So don't feel that you have to stick with one particular line here. But know that all of them are going to be incredibly beneficial to your skin. I love these. It's just your skin feels great. You can add in other oils. Again, come to one of Diana's classes. Come to all of Diana's skincare classes. You'll learn so much. And we share a lot of everybody's tips and tricks and recipes. It's great. You'll learn so much. I've completely changed my entire skincare routine based on Miss Diana. There you go. 
a lot of DIY that you can do here as well. You can make all kinds of little scrubs, super fun. You can make them for yourself. You can make them as gifts, right? Just limitless ideas. When you go to, when you go to doTERRA's website, if you pull up an oil and look at the blog, when you get the search results, instead of just the oils, look at the blog and the other, and you'll see all kinds of recipes and other things that you can do. So there's just fabulous things you can do. Salts, bath soaks, take care of yourself in a really healthy and non-toxic way. This is really, this is really high quality self-care that costs a fraction of what you might buy outside at the store and is going to be really healthy for you and beneficial for you without all the added trappings of who knows what is in your product. Again, especially if you're soaking in a bath in something, think about what you're soaking in. Think about what you cleaned your bathtub with and then what you're soaking in right? If you start to think about all these things. If you're unsure where to start, start with one of the wellness kits. Start, these are great ways to start introducing some non-toxic options into your life. Obviously the immunity one is going to be a really great one for that all around, right? The, it's just filled with these fabulous on guard products. It's the only place you can get that on guard floss. Just saying, if you want that stuff, it's pretty awesome. But you have some great oils that you can use to make things with. You get the foaming hand soap and a pump for it. The sanitizing mist, you simply can't be without this. I have a bunch of these because I often will just throw them on my LRP. Like maybe I am at 120 PV and I need to get to the 125 to get the product of the month. What do I, well, I don't really need anything else throw a hand sanitizer in there. You can always give it away. It's a great little tool to give to somebody to get them interested and involved, right? It's really wonderful. I love this mind and mood kit. You get a little mini of the balance deodorant, but you also get a really lovely non-toxic way to deal with anxiety and stress with the adaptive soft gels and the adaptive roll-on and you get a lovely bottle of balance. Relief, right? So think about, as you're thinking about moving toward a more intentional lifestyle and a more non-toxic lifestyle, it's not just about cleaning. I would say, you know, I would sort of think of these as like personal care, but even beyond that, right? Pain relief, don't reach for the Tylenol, the Advil, right? That, are, that over time, all the NSAIDs that are gonna do a number on your kidneys and your liver, reach for some of these things, right? This is the deep blue polyphenol complex. I don't live without that. That is in my life every day. Helps with aches and pains, arthritis pains, the fabulous deep blue rub, just start thinking in those terms as well, right? So non-toxic is not just about cleaners. It's not just about your personal soaps and so forth. It's also about what you're using to address specific issues. And that's really what we're all about here. And then those new kits, right? Those were the original three. Now we have sleep. I'm telling you the sleep is fantastic. If you have issues with sleep, delve into the sleep kit rather than taking some drug that's going to have all kinds of side effects, have you waking up groggy in the morning. I am totally in love with the Serenity soft gels. I just love them. Now yeah, I do. I will tell you <clears throat> the respiratory kit. So my order that I'm processing later today, it's a little crazy. I have Kit number three of sleep. I'm so excited, right? It's the third month that the sleep is, is available. So I'm getting kit number three. I have a couple of nice add-ons there, vetiver to get some savings in and bergamot on there. 
But you know, there's all kinds of fun stuff happening in June. I'm sure you've all seen it. You've seen the promos from us about it, all the wonderful respiratory goodies. So what am I gonna do? I am loading up. I'm getting kit one of the respiratory kit, all these fabulous things. And it's putting me with a couple other things. It then puts me to that 200 PV. So I get all the extra breathing things, right? Here's the thing too, right? And we talk about this all the time. I have a number of these products, right? I've got a few breathes. I've got some breathe touch. I've got the beadlets. I use them. So I'm going to get them in a savings by getting this kit and then getting all the freebies, right? I'm excited to try the drops. I know with the freebies, you get some drops, but okay. Can't have too many, right? You get a little gift. This is this the line, if you can see my cursor, but right here in the middle, this is what I really want out of this respiratory kit, that little personal inhaler. I've recently started a running training program and I'm going to be carrying that with me with some breathe on it so that when I pause, stop to rest, I've got that right there. That's how I was using my roll on last night when I was at a circuit training class have these things, right? Just slip it in, have it in your pocket and have it ready. Take some breathe drops with you. So I'm psyched. I'm going to be full of respiratory health things this month, soon, soon, because I get the quick shipping. I also put in here the new Aroma Essentials collection, right? This is really designed to help you replace any of those other air freshening products, right? I'm not gonna name them, but you know, you can get things that melt, you can get things that plug in, you can get things that spray. They are laden with nasty, nasty, fake smells, chemicals, toxic elements. This is an amazing kit that they've got now with these oils. And I'm, I don't have it right in front of me of the oils, but you get, there's a citrus bloom in here. There's, I believe there's this breathe. These are all five mil bottles, really sweet. And you get a La Luz diffuser, which is one of my favorite diffusers. I really love it. So this is an awesome kit. And again, it's a way to sort of start diving into this, to start making those changes in your home. And you know, you get that and you get a few other items and you're gonna hit that 200 PV in June and you do it on an LRP before the 15th, you're gonna get wild orange for free and all the fabulous respiratory stuff. So think about that. You can always ask us for advice on how to order, but these are all sort of pre-packaged, curated for you ways to start being more intentional, to start shifting away from toxic products and into more natural products. So it's a really easy way to dive in. So we've talked about it, right? Consistency, you have to be consistent about using these things. When you, when you make up a new cleaner, go ahead and get rid of the old stuff, right? When you make your toilet bowl fizzy bombs, do not buy another squirt thing of stuff to go in your toilet, throw away what you have. So as you start to make that switch, just have these things on hand and do it over time and you'll get used to using them. Keep them handy. Like I said, I love the idea, you know, just have those little five mil bottles for oils in your laundry room or in your bathroom, right? If there's oil that you like to add on your toothpaste, put a little five mil of that in your bathroom. So it's right there with your toothpaste and toothbrush and you're, you're not thinking, oh, right, I wanna do that, but now I have to walk down the hall. Don't worry about that. Have it accessible, have it there. All of these things, they really do work. All of us use them in different ways, but all of us use them. We've all come to love them. If you ever have any questions about it, just reach out to any of us, to your wellness advocate, and we're here to help. I think we did a little, we do have this in here, you know, put together a little sample LRP order that's going to get you goodies, right? You could put, look at all these beautiful non-toxic items that you can put into your cart. And if you order it by the 15th, 
you'll get the free oil of the month. And if you put a few other things on here, this particular lineup comes out to 133. If you put a few other things on here on June, you're also gonna get all those respiratory goodies for free. And who doesn't like free? Free is good, we like free. Free is fantastic. So think about that. That's the last slide. I'll go ahead and stop sharing. Unless anybody, does anybody want to go back and look at anything before I stop sharing? Was there anything in the chat about going back to look at anything? Not I'm that it's not, not okay. come up, no. That was awesome. So then, yeah, go back to gallery view because you're just gonna see the iPhone speaking if yeah. you don't. <laughs> Where'd <Where'd> y'all go? <laughs> Disappear. Oh, this is so good. Does anyone have questions on anything for Miss Jonah for any of us? Just pop in the chat or let us know. But that was my, my biggest advice is just dive in, right? Don't feel overwhelmed. Don't feel like you have to do it all mm -hmm. at once. Dive in and start doing it. Pick an area, right? Maybe you decide I'm going to really work on what I use in the bathroom mm -hmm. or I'm really going to work on laundry, right? Pick an area and start there and yeah. get comfortable with that, right? Get consistent with that, feeling comfortable with using it and then branch out, move on to other things, do more DIY yeah, and have fun with it and let us know how it goes, right? Share what's working for you with us. For sure. Those recipes. Yeah. Do recipes. <laughs> I did post in the chat um, a link that goes directly to the recipes on the website. Oh, as good. well as the environmental working group. Um, That's it. Yeah, so those are available in there. The environmental working group is just ewg.org. I think that their app is called Think Dirty. And then um, our website is ravensnestessentials.com. You go to education and green cleaning and you'll get all the recipes. So um, that was awesome, Joan. Thank you so much. I just love and I love that you showed us how to do <laughs> you know, actually showed us how to do something. I I think it's fun that you get to pick your sense, right? And what works for you? You know what I mean? Like to me, that's fun. And at Christmas time, I totally do. Like in my bathrooms, we make our hand the foaming hand soap. I do peppermint all Christmas season because it's like so you know Christmassy feeling. And in the in the yeah. in we do you know the the holiday joy or holiday peace, and it's just fun to have. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm super nerd, but I enjoy that. <laughs> but it is fun. And it's the idea that you can really customize your cleaning products to mm -hmm. you and to your home and your family and your environment, right? Yeah. What speaks to you? Because not everybody's the same, right? Some, some people, you maybe you don't like purifieds. Use yeah. something else, right? Yeah. Make up something that really speaks to you because then you're really going to use it too because you'll really enjoy using it. Yeah. I was so upset about the Mrs. Myers because it was so fun because they have the different scents and you know what I mean? You're like, oh, you know, and I remember I really liked the basil um, scent as one. But let me tell you, if you make your own like hand soap or dish soap using just the unscented Dr. Bronner's and basil oil. Now that is amazing, delicious. Yeah. Smell. That Ooh. basil is basil, you know, it <laughs> has zero of all that other whatever. I mean, the difference you go, oh, like how dumb was I to think that that other stuff even smelt like basil? <laughs> right. <laughs> like it smelt like, you know, like I always say how, how, how grape is purple or purple is grape. You know what I mean? It's that, but it doesn't actually taste like a grape. Yeah, that basil didn't smell anything like basil. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah exactly. Make what no, you I want. Just, and if there's one of those- I just love in, the way you maximized, Joan. <laughs> I love the way you're teaching us to maximize with the wellness kit and maximize that value because when you look at that immune kit, you've got your cleaning products right there. You've got Purify, you have On Guard, you have everything yeah. and you have your soap. You can change out of that, those nasty, you know, triclosan things, just yes. like you have everything right there. And you, all you have, would have to do would be to add on an On Guard cleaner concentrate. Exactly. Like, you know, yeah, exactly. Under, and then you're all you know, $15. Set. Yeah. 
It's perfect. I'll take yeah. it. And, <laughs> yeah. And oh. it's, you know, it takes away. So because I think a lot of times if you're coming into this, especially if you're coming into this new, you don't, it's hard to know where to start, right? And you're unsure. And we, you know, all these classes will really help, but these curated kits are a really sort of foolproof way, right? It's like here, they give you a little, this is how you use these things. Great. I'm good. I'm good to go. Yeah. And then you start layering on and adding on other things. It's the best value. Yeah. I wonder, I, you know, they, the on guard cleaning concentrate should so be an add on. It you know, should be an add on for that um, kit because what a, but I mean, it is already so inexpensive. So maybe not. Give us, keep giving us Melissa. We're fine. We don't need on guard cleaning concentrate. But, um, but I mean, that, that is right. You just add that yeah. and you the are immune, set. It is. It's fantastic. Yeah. The immune kit is really wonderful. But I got to say, I think. And now, especially I'm about to get week month three, uh, the sleep kit has edged. I just really, really, really love the sleep kit. It's nice. It's so really nice. nice. You and Manny and your and the Serenity softball. <laughs> my husband yeah. is all about it. He's so excited that we have them again <laughs> because we ran right. out. He's like, yeah. woo! <laughs> and a mattress. He's also happy about having a real mattress. <laughs> the combination is like heaven. <laughs> The, his futon days, he's not a big, I'm a futon fan. He's not so much, but how funny. Um, well, thank you so much, Joan. Um, oh, You're Susan's welcome. getting her second sleep this yeah. month for that With baby. The baby oh, Copa I, I know. So cute. Yeah. And Romelia, you're so right. We do. Uh, we already get that cleaning concentrate at a steal of a price. It is so. such a steal. Yeah. It's, order that for sure. You'll use it so many ways. That's a wonderful way to get started with changing over your cleaning. Yeah. Boy, that, that was a hot product too. When all of the world started to shut down, I had people like people who I didn't even know knew that I, you know, call and hey, I hear you. I hear you might be able to get some of that on bar <laughs> concentrate. It's like, I felt like I had like the secret deal, you know, it's like, yeah, but for a while it was hard to get. So I, now I will always have a couple of those tucked under my sink, you know, cause that's powerhouse. Anyway, thank you guys. I'm going to stop record and thank you so much, Miss Joan. Um, next week, what do we have next week? Is it our wonderful skincare class or is it oils? It is skincare oh, because I, skincare. I mixed up. I mixed up the other two weeks, so it is skincare. <laughs> Which you know Yay. what? Skincare is perfect. It is skincare, and you are welcome to come with questions. It's Please bring your questions class. if you have anything you want to know we can talk about it. And, yeah, and it's fantastic. Don't miss it. Don't miss oh. it. And tomorrow, tomorrow at 530 is the first aid, right? Remaking your first aid kits with all natural, wonderful yeah. doTERRA ingredients. So Susan's going to lead us through that. That should be amazing. I'm excited for that because mine definitely needs a restocking. And so, and she always has the good tips right she says she can't wait in the chat <laughs> works we can't wait either and wednesday we have our q a so if you have any questions send them our way and we will tackle them um on our wednesday uh live q a so thank you all thank you joan you're amazing it was fun thanks for coming absolutely